We haven't seen a chess event quite like this one. We normally invite all the players and let them play, but this time only half the field is guaranteed a spot, and the other half has had a grueling way to get to the online round of 64, and not to mention have a chance to qualify for the final in Toronto. The prize fund is huge, the stakes are huge, the names are huge. I'm pumped. Well, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, Danny, but there's so many incredibly strong players from every generation in this field that I cannot imagine how one can predict every result accurately, but that is exactly what makes this tournament so incredibly epic. The fact that there are so many players out of this field of 64 who have a serious shot at winning it all. We start off right there at the top with Yonda Pomnishi taking on Mohamed Muradli. Then we have Peter Svidler taking on Alexei Shiroff. Tamor Rajabov will battle against Hoi Fawn, and then we have Arjun Irigaisi versus David Paravian. Do we see anyone but Nepo coming out of this one? Who do you got winning Group E? No, absolutely not. Yanni Pomnishi is going to win this group, and he is an incredibly strong favorite for the entire thing. I think Jan is probably the second best chess player on the planet right now, maybe third. We can have that debate, but my goodness, I mean, how do you bet against Jan in this group? Danya? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how. At the time that we are recording this, Arjun Aragaisi's live rating is 27-25. <laughs> he won the Tata Steel Challengers, and he literally just won the Abu Dhabi Masters a couple of days ago. He is totally unstoppable. His level of play isn't just 27-20. He's playing at a 2800 level, and if he can carry that momentum through, Arjun Aragaisi is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I think he's going to give Yana Pomnichi a serious run for his money. as we look first at Anish Giri versus women's world champion Zhu Wenjun. Then we have Veselin Tapalov taking on Raunak Sadwani. Then you have Vishwanathan Anand versus Pavel Pankratov. No, I think Nodjerbek's first round matchup is extremely interesting, but I think how can you root against uh, the Tiger from Madras? I mean, are, are you kidding me? Vishwanathan Anand, when this man shows up to, the, uh, to any playing hall, all the chess pieces start glowing, okay? <laughs> and when he takes on Nodjerbek, and if he does take on Nodjerbek, I think, I think uh, experience is gonna triumph over youth, and I think Vishwanathan Anand is moving on to the finals. I'm gonna tell everyone they shouldn't turn their back on the other young player in the field in Sadwani. He is so comfortable playing online on chess.com, has been since he was, I think, maybe three or four years old. Vladimir Kromnik, as mentioned, will be taking on Hrant Melkumian. And then we have Nihal Sarin versus Ralph Mamedov. Uh, Danya, you know, I got to ask you to choose. I think all of them look good, but which one is your favorite to start things off? Who you got ultimately emerging from Group G? Listen, my heart is hoping that Kromnik goes far and Ding Liren goes far, but the first time Nihal Sarin turned heads was a couple of years ago in the SCC when he beat the likes of Alexander Grishuk. The guy is an absolute monster in time pressure. Nihal Sarin is one of my favorite players to watch. He's so versatile. He's wise beyond his years on and off the chessboard. And I think he's going to go very, very far. I think this is going to be one of his breakout tournaments. He may be below 2,700, but uh, if you just watch his tournament performances, you could easily confuse him for a top 10 Grandmaster. I'm going with Nihal. Top, we have Jan Shistov Duda versus Mitrabha Guha. Wang Hao versus Peter Lako next. Shakriyar Mamed Yarov faces off versus Vladislav Kovalyev. And then we have Bida Gujarati versus Alexei Sarana. Danya, your thoughts? I'm gonna have to go with a little bit of a more predictable choice. I'm gonna say Vidit against Alexei Saran. I mean, both of these players have proven themselves. They are going to make a serious bid to win the entire thing. Pockets grow, you can't stop the show.
Also keep fucking up. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I 